Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in Gelderland. And that's the last tree right there. I mean, there's probably more trees that I want to get rid of, but that'll do for a minute. I'm now ready to... Apparently get stuck, hopelessly. Nobody was doing that. That's... Not actually our field over there, but what I want to do here is if I can just bring him back onto our land up here. At some point, we'll also be doing some work in that field there, kind of like straightening that out and, and so on. But we're, we're not going to worry about that at the moment. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring this one over and we will just finish planting canola down through here and then I can't go over into that next field just yet and start planting canola in there because we need to first actually uh, make it into one single field so I'm going to get the plow and just do the plowing bit in the middle I know you can see trees down through the middle but I've actually removed those now um, so they're basically just kind of like spawning ghosts back in that they're not really there and we'll be able to run right through with the plow and go and do that bit. And then I can take this one in and we can plant canola. And then uh, that one will get the first lot of fertilizer from this seed drill like it's supposed to. And then once everything has grown, one growth stage in this field here and also the big field over there, we'll be able to put the second round of fertilizer in. I don't think I was planning on doing anything else. I probably listed more stuff, but at the moment all I can think is that we need canola, we need um, wheat, which we've got over in the big field, and I don't really think there's a lot else that we need at, uh, right now. We, we're going to want corn, we're going to want more beans probably, and we are going to want uh, sugar beets. Like, sugar beet is quite an important one because we're going to want to be able to make our own sugar. That's one that's quite high on my list of things that I want to do. So being able to make the sugar is, is quite important to me because we do want to be self-sufficient in everything. All i got to do right now is... Uh, it's hoofing it down the rain now, isn't it? Uh, I can't really go fast-forwarding time to get rid of the rain very much because when I can a bit. Let's see if the, the rain is going to stop today or not. It's probably not. It's probably just going to stay raining now until the end of the day um it would be nice if it would yeah it's not going to stop raining look see it's not even got a second weather symbol come up yet and it's already midday which means it changes now midday no okay right that's fine we'll, we'll just leave that on running really slowly uh right here this is a little bit of a problem with these trees it is a little bit difficult to like do the corner here so maybe I will at some point cut some of those trees back just to make it a bit easier for us I mean this tractor is pretty strong it is pretty good at doing this job like dra dragging it around uh, and I'm com <laughs> completely doing this realistically as well this is how you do this in real life if you're having trouble getting around a corner you basically just turn sharper and then just kind of like drag it all ignore the screams of the twisting metal ignore the sparks and, and the loud twangs and bangs as things break up it, it sounds like things break. I, I i was about to say uh, as things break apart but as things sound like they're breaking apart but i'm sure they're fine I, i'm sure it's just the machine being a bit melodramatic, that's all. So you, you, it's nothing that you need to actually worry about. See, as you can see, we, we get through it all just fine. That There's no issues here whatsoever. Now, on a completely unrelated side note, would anybody like to employ me to drive one of these for them? I, I come with years of experience, and as you can see, I'm, uh, I, I'm fully qualified, and I'm able to do this job perfectly. So if anybody knows of any job openings... Please do let me know in the comment section. Be very much appreciated. I'd like to have a go. I think it might be fun. Now let's just go around there. It's it. We we, we barely touched it, and it's only an electricity pylon. It's not like it's dangerous or anything, so we, we don't need to worry about that one. Um, 
<laughs> okay, it's quite a substantially strong electricity pylon. Apparently, it's it's not wanting to uh, relinquish its hold on us in any way. But I do need to plant all the way around, so I, I'm just making sure that I'm doing my job properly. That's all. That 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 that's all that's going on is I'm just doing my job properly. And this this is part of my job application. See, I get every single bit of it planted. There. There we go. Everything is planted as you would expect. And it, it is all looking good. The machine, it was like that. I, I, I know that there, there may seem to be like the, the odd little ding on the, the, the paintwork here and there, but it'll buff right out. Honestly, it will just buff right out. There'll be no issues whatsoever. <laughs> I'm sure of it. I'm absolutely sure that we can buff it out. Well, well, I'm absolutely sure that you can. I'm not a mechanic. I'm not claiming to be a mechanic, so that's up to you to deal with. That's not my problem. Um, right. Now, where was I? I was. Uh, I need to fold this one up. I. It's still running at the moment. I'm curious if... Um, oh, no, it has now turned off. Right. We run back down this way. I'm going to need to get the plow up here so that we can start plowing that next field. And then I'll be able to put canola on that one as well. Because I, I would like to have a, a reasonable bit of canola here in the fields. So we'll go running in through here. Just like that. And actually I need to go up this way. I'll park you on the road right here. Because I need to be able to get into that field in just a minute. I've got to get around that. Hmm. Getting around that corner might prove to be a little interesting. I did, actually, I, I made another corner. So let me go up here a second. Um, ooh, wait. Now that I fast-forwarded time a little bit, that there may be uh, a couple of little bits that we can see. What have we got up here? So uh, the, the bread. Well, bread is doing just fine. That's on spawn. It's on 4,500. So I think there's maybe one pallet that's gone through. It's doing 2,000 cycles a month. Yeah, so I may have had a, a pallet already made. I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, canola oil in here. Is that spawning 5,000 litre pallets as well? Even though this is it's extended oil plant. That's not the standard one. I know the soybean oil was 1,000 litre pallets. You're not doing anything. Premium potatoes up here. I've now got 691 potatoes. So that's busy processing, which is most excellent. Uh, you, actually. Yeah, the, the, the oil, that's going to be a 5,000 litre pallet. And so's the bread. So those two are, are still kind of not doing anything at the moment. You over here are now full of water. So let's go and take this one round to the potatoes. And drop that one in. I do love the colours. I just, well, I love the wheels on this thing. This, this, this thing is wicked cool. It really is. I really do like this machine. It is awesome. And I'll bring you back round there and we'll reverse you in here. So you're going to dump in what water you can. Now you won't better drop everything in at the moment. Oh. The engine has to be running to unload the water for this one. That's alright. You stay there and unload water. And I want you now. I got a little tiny bit of a job. I think the ploughing is all finished. That, that's all good. That's all fine. So we'll turn on our beacons and we'll go herring off up the road up here. I want to get this field ploughed up first. And then once I've got that one ploughed, the other one, the one that's had the canola in, that one can wait. Like we can do that one later in the winter if we want to. Um, but we do need to get this one done so we can get the canola planted in here. And... Right, uh, I need to, I need to, uh, uh, blah, 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 uh, uh, I need to see in here, I do not say blah, 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 I didn't, didn't, didn't say that at all, you're imagining things, right, strawberries, basics there, and strawberries for a large greenhouse right here, you just gotta put water in and, and everything is tickety-boo, um, ah, large horticultural greenhouse, if you put in these ingredients, you get flowers coming out, We'll have a look at those. Um, th that is floriculture. Well, it says floriculture there. We, it it's generally comes under the branch of horticulture. Well, it says right there, horticultural greenhouse. Why it's got floriculture there, I, 
You don't often you. I've seen the word before, but I've not seen it used very much. Now, the one in particular that I'm looking for, I'm pretty sure that it's a greenhouse that grows the peppers and onions that we're going to want. Yes, I know I'm saying producing onions. I don't like it any more than you do. So, oh, this is one that grows pretty much a multi-crop greenhouse. It grows everything. Uh, here we got the maple syrup farm. I'd actually like to get one of those going because there's maple syrup pancakes that we can make. But again, it's not something that I'm rushing out to go and do at the moment because there's some other things that we want to look at. So we've got melon greenhouse, watermelon, lettuce, red lettuce, tomato, strawberry. Ah, here we go. The potato processing, mid-sized greenhouse, peppers, onions, and cucumbers realize that it included cucumbers as well and this is the large one so that's the one that we're going to want that's the tree nursery one right there um melons watermelons greenhouse and wood production up here to just make various so it's these two mods it's this one right here this is ten thousand. this will allow us to produce things so we get the pallets coming out of one side and we've only got to take water to it it's not like some of the other greenhouses where You've got to add manure and all sorts. So we've got a water supply on that one. Uh, where would be a good place to do greenhouses? Now, over here, I kind of want a large series of sheds for putting our machinery in, which is it's on the to-do list. Uh, we've got chickens are taking up that area there. So actually, I'm thinking maybe we should put them over in this corner. Um, this this can be the growing thing. It's not not technically factory, but it's still a, a, a growing thing. Actually, that greenhouse is not lined up. Yes, it is. Yeah, it was. Look at that. Right. Okay. I didn't think it was lined up, but it is in fact lined up. So we're going to go back over here, and we're going to go in about here, I think. I'm going to drop one down there, and then I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap. Still doesn't look like it's lined up, but... So we're just going to leave a little bit of a gap like that. That should be enough to be able to back in there with our truck that we use. That's all I want to do is far enough apart that we can get in there with the truck, because that's going to be the one that we'll use for water. Put one there, so there's... There's actually only three. It's, uh, it does say peppers, onions, and cucumbers, but according to this, we've only got the onions and the peppers that we're going to want. And then I've got kind of a, a thing up there, so I didn't need to put these quite so close together. What I'll do later, we'll, we'll, let's see these two first. Let's go over and start doing this ploughing. No, 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 no. Um, no, I don't want to go there either. I want to go here. Right, there we go. So, oh! Cucumbers just don't exist. They're on there, but it's a bit like that straw thing. For some reason, they've vanished. So, whatever reason, they're not available on here. But we do have peppers right there. So, I'm going to want one of these making peppers. There's two water for one pepper. It gives me 1,152 per month, which is basically one pallet a month out of one greenhouse. And then the onions are slightly more onions are going to be available. But it's... Oh, no. The water cost is lower as well. So, um, I'm not really sure what the recipes call for. Let's get this set... Actually, we can have a look at what the recipes call for because we've got them in here. So, potato gratin. Who is it that... It, right, we need two onions in there for the fried potato... Ew! Fried potatoes are delicious, but why would you go and put onions in? You ruined them. Oh, that is disgusting. Uh, I need tomatoes in here as well, so I'm also going to have to have tomato ones being produced. Um, I need peppers and onions in there. Peppers for the paprika chips. Uh, peppers again. Peppers and onions. Oh, that looks disgusting. Peppers and onions in a potato... I'm not a fan of potato salad anyway. But chuck in peppers and onions in that. And, oh, that, that just sounds so repulsively disgusting. Uh, tomatoes, I only need 10,000 now. I've only got, like, one or two bits. But the peppers and the onions, we do have much bigger input capacities on those. So I'm actually going to go 
straight back to here where I was a second ago with the greenhouses. Go back to the great big greenhouses over this. And we'll go back over into this corner over here like this. And I'm going to spin that around. It says I don't have enough money. How do I not have enough money? Yeah. All right. Well, I, I don't really have enough money to go producing a lot more. So what we'll do is we'll we'll leave it as it is. And before we go and start doing that plowing, let's jump to... No, not you. You, right here. You've got 19,000 litres of water left. I'm going to go over to the two greenhouses and I'm going to fill them both up with water. And then uh, that means that I'm going to be able to start them working. So let's go to you over here. Open that one. And then I want to go in here. So I need this greenhouse here. Unfortunately, I have to grow peppers. I don't like peppers. And so I'm going to activate that one. Also going to voluntarily produce onions, which, quite frankly, I find disgusting. I don't need to go and make a load more, though, because I have the upgrade option. So I, I wonder what happens if, if I click on it. Don't have enough money. I don't have enough money for anything. Right, but these do take 20,000 litres of water each, which means I'm actually going to want to get a bit more water going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to un... Let's not get too close. We'll get scat right away. Uh... I'm going to drop 10,000 litres of water into here. And I'll stick 10,000 litres of water into the other one. And that'll do for the moment. And then we can always change that a little bit later. So uh, let's try and get that just spot on right. That's close enough. Right. And then reverse back over here. So what I'm not going to need to worry about is other greenhouses. Now... This is a slight concern, is because we've got the automatic door opening mod. Uh, it does mean that I'm basically just going to get wedged in here when the, the doors are opening and closing, which is really not very helpful at all, is it? Like that, 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 that's not actually helpful in the slightest. So let's just double check that I, yes, I have. Right, I got one on onions and I got one on peppers and they should be able to start producing. So I can upgrade the greenhouses as well, which is amazingly awesome. I'm going to need another greenhouse for strawberries and one for uh, tomatoes for the different things that we've got going on here. I don't think there's one that we're going to want for lettuce, but we could always get one just in case. Um... I'm not going to get any more water for any of them just yet. Because this is also our milk, we need it to be empty to be able to get our milk. So I'm just going to park it up over here until next month. And then we can empty out the milk for the cows. Start you up and just drop in what we've got here. You know what? I think it's already... Yeah, he's already done it. Right, okay, that's fine. Um... And now we can go and we can actually do this job down here. So I want to very carefully do the outside edge of this field. I also increased the area here that we've got for like driving across here. I put in an extra long drain here on this corner so that we can get in through. I figured it would be the sensible thing to do. I, I just figured it would be a, a smart and sensible move. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring you one round like that and then I want to let's just bring you there uh, oh uh, no not the chrome no this one this is the only one that has the GPS this must be the one that I used previously for doing the work huh Right, well, it doesn't really matter. What I'll do is I'll run down really quickly to the um, thingy. There. Absolutely fine. We, we, completely normal way to get in and out of the field. We're just going to run down here really quickly, and we're going to add a GPS system to this tractor, and then we can use the GPS. Because doing 
using a GPS system for doing around the outside edge of a field is something that I actually really like doing because it means that I can get the edges straight and it really really irritates me when I don't have the edges straight so we'll go whizzing in through here like this and stream on round the corner there like that and then just stop there and now if I go over this way and have a look so uh, that one I can rep I can repair that one for 22 yes and then you right here I can repair that one for two yes and you right here I can repair that one for 889 yes and then I can customize this bad boy right here and I can give it a GPS system we could also give it a fresh coat of paint if we wanted to do we want to give this one a fresh lick of paint onyx black jet black fent black well we've got fent black at the moment i've got a little bit of pink in there for for the design on the inside and then i went with the rim color with with this one um we could do a fent red stands out i always love black and yellow it's it's a fabulous combination it really is um Do a little bit more pink on this one now this time let's do it why not let's do it there so 15,000 oh I can't give myself a GPS because I don't have the money it costs 15 grand to do that and I don't have 15 grand so I I'm just gonna have to go to the bank and borrow an extra 10,000 just like that I know, I know, the money is slowly creeping up. Upwards and upwards and upwards. Uh, customize. Let's have a GPS on here and we'll change the rims now for pink, just because we can. And yes, right. Configuration has now been changed. Excellent. That's what I wanted. So now we can drop these two tools back on again. Bring it back around here. And I never actually noticed that. We have a look at the plow there. The plow is so small that it doesn't actually fit onto the tractor in the first place. The, the system there is, is a little tiny bit too big. There's, I believe, there's like now a, a classification for a tractor. You've got a, I don't know what it's called, but it's essentially a grade one, a grade two, and a grade three for a tractor. And a grade one machine is too small to go on a grade two tractor and um or a grade three tractor but well i think they're too small i'm not quite sure but if you have it the other way round, if you've got a grade three machine it won't go on a grade one tractor it's it's too big a machine for it and the couplings and everything are wrong for it i'm not sure what aspects of the machines are sort of taken up with that but th this is something that i found out recently I, I had no idea about this by the way i had absolutely no clue um but uh, it just seemed really interesting right now i want to go alt c to allow me to use gps and then i think it's control e there we go control s and if i go in here we have plow i've already got one there plow so if i go with that i think all i have to do is click on it double click maybe i don't know and, ah, there we go. Right, so I've got plow. That that's already done. So I think I can just go Alt X here, and that is essentially the plow as it exists right now. That side and that side, which means that all I need to do is if I raise that one out don't need to change it i possibly will want to change it from the edge so i just want to line it up on this side right here and then join in like that and now move forward a little bit so i want to just now move it so i press alt and page up and that just slides it sideways just a little tiny bit so just slide right in there and that should be in the right spot. So now I can lower this down. I also need to press Y to allow create fields. Right, that has actually gone out a little bit further than I wanted it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alt page down a little bit and just drag it back a bit. So it's clearly not quite lined up exactly where I want it to be lined up. That's better. That's where I want it to be lined up. So... Clearly, the marker is not 100% accurate on 
what we've got for whatever reason. Maybe I've altered something somewhere. I don't know. I might, it, it might be facing the wrong way around or something. I don't know. doesn't really matter very much. All that matters is that we get a nice, clean, straight line down the side of the field here. That's, that's why I'm doing this, is I want a clean, straight line. Get to here. And it's this bit right here on his corner that I want to... Stop, 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 stop. Excellent. Right, there. And now if I lift that one up... There. That should be everything I need to do. Because I don't want to go down that side of the field. I don't want to mess anything up there. I just wanted to sort of bring this out so it's the same all the way across. Which it now actually seems to be. And then I'm just very quickly going to go uh, Shift P, which gives me this little configuration maduda. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit like this. And if I go to my landscaping and I go to my painting right here, and we we'll just go to the grass. We've got the uh, a little one there. I'll make that a little tiny bit bigger. And all I'm going to do is one little line along there like that. And that's it. I don't need to do anything else. That's it. So for the rest of this, very, very simple. I don't actually need the GPS. So I can turn the GPS off completely. And then bring you around this way. And I can just do a run up and down the middle of the field. And you can see I was a little bit careless with my painting when I was filling this in. But I didn't think that mattered. I wanted to make sure that I did the job neat and tidy all the way down through. Um, so that once I've gone over with the plow, there's no kind of seam or anything down through there. And it, it looks clean and tidy all the way through. So that's what I was aiming for. And I'm hoping that's what I've got. Now, this side, I'm going to try and do this without the GPS. So I bring you in... I that and that's the straight line that I want to be on hopefully that will continue on all the way across and as you can see this side of the field is slightly further down than the other side of the field so maybe we can just do something about that although actually I'm going to use GPS to do this because it's a longer run than I thought so let me start that one up again there now and bring the GP. Actually, I think that one might be in the right spot. Because it sticks out slightly, if I join these two together like this, maybe not, I, might have, I might have to move it a bit. And also, I don't like the fact that it's hanging down over the edge of the bank there. I'm going to move it away from that bank. And here, yeah, it definitely does need to be moved over a, uh, just, just a fraction. So if I uh, do that... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.